So for this scene, um, there are some major issues with it. This is a very, very awkward stance, and it's disproportionate. It makes no sense. She looks like she has five hairs on her head. The light environment is off, it's too dark, it's too muddy, and it does not feel like a dangerous scene. You just killed ten men, why are you looking down? And she looks like she's blind and can't see and her eyes are in a random spot. So before we get into that, let's make bigger changes happen on the piece. And I'm just going to have this here as reference so I can see what I'm doing. So this is Portrait Studio. You can pose figures in Portrait Studio and I'll be doing that. And I feel like we need to add some perspective because if we put the camera a little bit lower than her, it'll feel a little bit more empowering. Uh, just to make the camera slightly lower than she is. But I mean, it's not going to be that much. It's just a slight lowering that we can see the lower part of her crotch. We can see the lower part of her arms. We can see a little bit of the lower part of her chin. We can see the lower part of the breasts. That means the camera is a little bit lower. So just take a look at when the camera is level. We don't see any of that stuff. So when the camera is a little bit lower than her waistline, she feels a little bit more strong. Let's pose this. So she's got this strong pose to her legs. Oh, that's a little too much. So I'm just posing. And in order to pose, you just have to press the joint and press E. Press W to get the, um, like your, your, your repositioning uh, X, Y, and Z, the joint, and press R to resize the joint and everything attached to the joint. So press E in order to just change the tilt from the axis point, which is the joint you chose. You know, that wide stance, you know, it uh, expresses a lot of strength. Her leg is on top of a dead corpse. I would say her heel is pushing down and her foot is a little bit kind of sitting on top. The heaviest part is the part that carries the weight of the leg. Maybe this leg is a little bent as well because she's just trying to balance on it. I mean, she's standing on a human body. Have you ever stood on someone? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know if you, I don't know if that even happens in a normal life. If you end up like on top of a person who's actually standing on top of a person. But if you've ever like had someone asked you to massage their back with your and stand on their back or something, you can't find your footing. You're just about to fall. So I don't know how she's doing this. So she's going to be a little bit wonky legged. Um, and that would make a little bit more sense for me. And I want her to look into the distance. I, I don't want her and I want her head tilted that way and proud. So the forearm is a little trickier because the forearm has so many points of movement. It can rotate, it can get closer to the arm, uh, and it has a limit. The, there's the elbow. So we have to make sure that those points of movement, movement are all moved manually. So I'm tilting it back to the perspective that I want, and I'm tilting the you can move the fingers. I just don't have time to move every little finger. Uh, but you can move the fingers um, if you need to. Uh, they're, they're posable as well. The hand is posable. For the other arm, just kind of shift it back to fall naturally. So let's start with these edits. Um, the background needs to be much lighter as a whole. And then we have other atmospheric indicators. We have atmospheric, you know, uh, sand that's needed here. The upper, upper body is just so much more small than the lower body. So I'm going to just increase that size and bring that down so she looks a little bit more like of an adult size. And then I'm going to fix the face. And before I do that, I just want to talk about what you've done with the hair. It feels oily. It feels unnatural. And I would just get rid of it. Her hair looked like it was made out of like this really light material. It didn't feel like she had like normal weight to her hair. Hair is a lot heavier than you know than you imagine. Let's look at our reference. She's got her head tilted back. I just want to get rid of the smile for now. Like it's just so awkward. It still doesn't make sense that her we see so much of an upper eyelid. Which is why I wanted to just open up the eyes. Getting rid of that. She just she just had better eyes is basically what I was saying and it makes no sense. And I just want to make her look like she's looking more in the distance. 
you know, this is like a picture her granddaughter had, and, you know, oh, that's my grandma, she was a, she was, you know, this heroic bounty hunter, and her evil enemy killed her or something. But this is a picture of her, and I'm going to follow in her footsteps or something like that. And then just start casting some shadows, moving in one, so maybe her head casting a shadow that way. Her arm or her body casting a shadow on her arm. Just basic, basic stuff. I'm going to try to get the universal color of the background. See this? This is a really earthy new background color. And I'm going to use that. And that should fix the whole scene. Before. After. Remember, you cannot change your art without first changing yourself. 